this might be a tough decision right now. My team did I'm not just absolutely some garbage. NFL games that were like, right. whoa. I actually don't have a lot of mixed feelings. Uh, welcome to Scrum Tone. Uh, we have another guest here on the League of the Wings. League of the Wings. League of the Wings. League of the Wings. Do I look? Can you see me? I don't know. Can, Can I we? see how I look? No. You can't. The we're, camera's we're, so far away. Yeah, I like it like that. This is my podcast. First the chairs. First, you say we have to have purple chairs. <laughs> now you me. think the camera's too far away. I, I deserve. It's always been like I that. Deserve. It's always been. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I should host this podcast and you shouldn't. What purpose would that serve? The podcast would be ten times more successful. How so? Without you attached to it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the real problem with your podcast is a lack of Josh. You. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the, yeah, yeah. That's what I was. Should I just, um, should I just publish uh, other people's work on my channel and not just, yes. just steal it? I want to steal every short film that you ever made and upload on my channel. You should do that. You yeah. should do that. And make all the money. That's such a great idea. I'm going to hire some lawyers. Yeah. So well, as soon as you he, do that, you're just Oh, well, you said that I could sued, too. sued. When did I say that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Caleb, what are we gonna talk about? So I came to the conclusion that um there is not going to be a topic for this. It's just going to be choose your own adventure. Choose your own adventure? <laughs> yeah, so wherever the conversation goes, and that's totally not because I forgot to come up with a An topic idea. and that's totally not because i forgot that the podcast that i forgot to make a podcast idea mm-hmm. or podcast because i usually upload it today it's usually mm-hmm. all the right already uploaded but last damn. week i had to upload on friday and i had to upload tomorrow too on friday so damn back to back weeks where it's supposed to be uploaded on thursday but i have uploaded on friday which i have done in the past so it's not irregular but right at least long, you're getting it out. Yeah. Please. I had a long streak of on Thursday, so it's, it good. was like a few months. Mm. But That's good. Progress. Thank you. Consistency. That's important. Haven't missed a podcast in 86 weeks. Mm. See now? I wish I had that kind of staying power. <laughs> Dedication, <laughs> baby. start shit, and then I never finish it. But Caleb. What shit do you start and not finish? Your everything. own shit? Yeah. So. <laughs> I finish <laughs> I do finish all of my shits. Um Well that's good at, that's a plus side, <laughs> like at least you at least you finish your shits like Imagine yes. Imagine <laughs> Like how would that even finishing. work? It's just you never finish. I mean I guess you're never really done, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that, that is true. I guess until if- you die. You're gonna be pooping until you die. Die. You will be pooping until you die. Until you die. But what what are some of the things that you start and don't complete? Um, all of the things I never do. I mean, I never finish. I don't know. I I I'm just a starter. I I don't know. I start all types of most. It's mostly creative projects. I start like. Sometimes I'll write a short. I used to write short stories all the time when I was a kid. And there were so many ideas I just had. And I'd start writing it. And then I just would never finish it. And do then you, it would just. Do you still have those stories? I do still have some of them. I do still have some of them. I used to write fan fiction a lot, actually. <laughs> oh. That that shit, like, I was on it. I was on it. I had a Naruto fan fiction called Nine is the Lucky Number. And it got like a decent following, and I would post a new chapter every week. I'd wake up every morning and I'd bang that shit out. Twelve year old me. How long did you do that for? Wait, was it once one chapter per week? Yeah, it was one chapter per week. I think I got I think I got up to like chapter thirty seven or so, and then I stopped. But I was doing that for like three or four months straight. I think. I feel like that's a podcast within itself. I mean, what well, what does what's this fanfic uh, entail? <laughs> <laughs> well, it was just like it was about 
Because you know how, like, well, Caleb's seen Naruto. But yeah. for all the people <laughs> watching this who don't know what Naruto is. Stop this podcast and go watch it and then come back. Well, yes. <laughs> but also, Naruto, the title, the title character, has a demon inside of him called the Nine-Tailed Fox. And actually, you learn later in the story that there are multiple animals like the nine-tailed fox but they just have less tails so there's like a one-tailed uh raccoon spirit thing there's like a two-tailed cat that's also sealed inside of someone (laughs) i know it sounds very fantastical but i had this idea to like take all the all the characters with these monsters sealed inside of them the jinchuriki as they refer to in the in the story, I had an idea to take all of those characters and because they never meet up in the entirety of Naruto, they don't meet up until the very end, and it's not like really on the best of terms. So if you haven't watched Naruto, you just got some things spoiled for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not it's like it's nothing. You know, you're still you're not losing anything by the information I just gave you. you but just ruined the entire story. shut the Sorry. fuck up, Kayla. <laughs> Let me finish my point. Anyway, the story was about all the Jinchuriki just meeting up and going on this adventure. And it had a plot. Like, I was, I knew where I was going. It had some characters, some, some interesting characters. I had, like, invented backstories for some of the characters. You know how, like, sometimes there's characters that don't get a lot of, like, depth in the story. So yeah. sometimes you have to, like, use your imagination to fill in the gaps. Yeah. And that's what I did. And it was fun. It was just, like... I just didn't keep up with it. How many followers? I don't remember. Obtain. Like, can you like it too? Like, or like, is there a numerical? Yeah. Like, count like how many likes or how many views? You can favorite and follow. Mm. So, I don't know how the I don't know what what the difference really is between the two. I think follow, of course, you like are notified when new chapters come out. I think favorites just saves them in your favorites. So they're always your favorite, oh, okay. if that makes sense. But it had like 50 follows, like mm-hmm. about 50 follows, 50 favorites, which was like the most I'd ever gotten on a yeah. fan fiction on that site. So I was like, mm-hmm. I was hanging in there for my 50, <laughs> my 50 followers. You, I could just see you in your room and just be like little Josh, just like fucking typing away. Typing away. I was like, this is my shit right here. But in a sense... Would you say that you created filler episodes? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. Honestly, yeah. Well, there's a whole, there's literally a whole filler arc in Naruto Shippuden about like all the Jinchuriki like hanging out with each other. I was like, yeah. I had this idea first <laughs> before you guys even animated this shit. I wrote it. Wait. Naruto Shippuden ended, right? It's the Boruto shit now? Yeah, yeah. Wait, was it still going when you were 12? Like, is yeah. that how recent it was? It was Nar- Naruto Shippuden was still going on. Yeah. But the it didn't... It didn't... It finished when I was in high school. Yeah. Like, my senior I, or junior year. I didn't realize... Oh, I guess I... That's, that makes sense, because it's, like, the newer one. But for some reason, I thought it, it was done. So I'm still fucking on Naruto. The yeah. first... Naruto not tripping in the Naruto whatever the fuck it's called because I'm watching the fillers yeah but I just didn't know how new put in was because I'm used to that Naruto being finished yeah true true that how did that true even that. start <laughs> I don't know <laughs> um where's you go no 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 <laughs> you you lead the conversation take us somewhere Kayla. no I was just gonna ask like where do you want to take it now <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it somewhere. I had a thought the other day. Well, not the other day. I had a thought today, literally an hour before we started filming this, maybe. Because I was, I had just started watching this video on YouTube because it was titled, it was titled like, I broke, I broke my vow of abstinence. Here's what I learned or something like that. And I was listening to it. I didn't finish it. I gotta go back and finish it. But I was just like, this is an interesting video that resonates with where I am currently in my life. Because I am on a 
I would say I I am abstinent right now. I've been exploring what that means to me and how I feel about it because I think we kind of do live in a um Oh wait. I'm just I'm sorry, sorry. I was still listening. I was still listening. I could do fu- I was okay. multitasking. No, no, no. Talking about abstinence and where you are in life right now, you fucking it's bitch. Okay. I, I just gotta make sure you. because that was you like five when when we were up in your fucking room and I was talking to you. I that's literally that's payback for that. Cause you fucking were texting for like five minutes. Shut I, up, Caleb. Shut the like, fuck uh-huh, up. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I guess Oh, fuck it, I wasn't making bad. any noise, but <laughs> <laughs> the context is different. You have to give me your full attention now. I'm your guest. I know, but I was ninety percent, ninety percent there. Okay, continue your fucking. <sighs> yes, my point. Yeah, if I can remember where I was, <laughs> that was your own fault. <laughs> no, 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 no. I remember. <laughs> okay, okay. So, I feel like, you know, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on this as well. I think we live in a very interesting society when it comes to sex because I think we're very, it's still taboo. Like, we don't want, really want to have conversations about it or at least meaningful, productive conversations about it. But we also are experiencing this, like, weird underbelly of society where porn is so accessible. There's so many... There's so many influences that are pushing you to have sex at an early age to be complicit in hookup culture and getting bodies or not getting bodies or, you know, I just think we live, I think that the contradiction between those two things happening at the same time are so not great for everybody like across the board i don't think that benefits anyone and i think even when you're whether you're in a relationship or whether you're at a relationship i think the fact that you can still still feel that kind of pressure to be sexual is worth noting yeah maybe there's so many different ways, because I feel like, or different ways we could take it, but yeah, I, because I've been in a relationship since, like, High for school. three years, yeah. like, this is my, like, long term, longest term, this right. is my first, like, long term go- relationship and girlfriend and stuff, mm-hmm. so, like, I was in high school when we got together, so I never really experienced, like, hookup culture, right, so, like, I just never experienced that yeah. aspect, but I also love, like, the aspect of, like, being in a relationship and only having that one, one person, person that I love, and it's, like, it's a connection between me and Janet, you know? Right, right. Which I think it's different. I mean, it's, there's still, like, hookup culture that affects me mm-hmm. like what or like the and janet too a little bit mm-hmm. of like what would like out of relationship how do you think like we would act or be right right like we've only been in this relationship and stuff yeah and we were probably and we were saying like we were probably like hook up and stuff like right hook up a lot in college and stuff yeah but we never it never came to regret like we never regretted that like we don't we still want to be together like we don't want Right. Like, the hookup culture. Like, we would rather... Be with be, each other. Yeah. Like, we're glad that we met each other and be... Yeah. Be, we are together. Yeah. And, yeah. That's sweet. That's good that you have that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I feel mm. like... Obviously, like, do what's best for you at the end of the day. But I feel like... That's the most important thing. And, you know, you kind of have to look inside yourself and know if, you know, hooking up with multiple people is something that you really want or whether, I don't know, there might be other things influencing you to do that. But I know for me, 
I used to, I used to, I used to get around. <laughs> I, used to, I used to really be out here. And I mean, it kind of took that experience for me to know that I couldn't really, that maybe I wasn't built for it. But that was also kind of hard to wrap my head around. Because, again, I feel like hookup culture is kind of pervasive in that kind of way. Mm-hmm. You kind of feel the pressure to be sexual. And I can't imagine what it's like. <sighs> Sometimes I'm really just like, I would hate to be to be living as a woman yeah. in, a, in, a, in, a, in a body like that in our society. Cause Ain't no way. At least we're allowed to express our sexuality, which can, you know, be negative sometimes. Because then you got weird men who are overly aggressive with their sexuality. But it's like with women, it's like you got people telling you to be sexual. But at the same time, you get demonized for your sexuality. So it's like there's literally no winning. There's no win. (laughs) There's literally no win. There's no win. And then with like movies too, with how they're portrayed, like in every horror movie that you're going, right. you always expect like to see boobs or like a nude right, scene, but it's right. always like a woman. It's never like a man. Yeah. Like you always like. Th- I guess it's more cheesy horror now. Yeah. Because I guess there's like some serious like horror movies that don't have like nude scenes or yeah. like a fucking like out of nowhere just to have it yeah and then also too like in the porn industry like Mm. and even like strippers too like women in both industries they get criticized but like millions of men are fucking consuming the content yeah right but that's the thing that's like that's just sexism it's like everybody wants to put the onus on the woman for being sexual but in my eyes it's a two-way street like you don't have to sexualize everything you see you don't have to treat approach you don't have to approach everything from that standpoint so when it's like you know when you're vilifying the woman for existing as she wants to it's just weird to me because i'm like Regardless of how she's presenting herself, aren't you the one who's putting that context on her? Yeah. Right? Like, it's, like, yeah. I don't know. Like, I just can't imagine being a woman. Yeah. But, like, even, like, I feel like in our society as well, like, there's no winning when it comes to sex, too. Yeah. Because then you'd have, like, you have, like, people saying, oh, like, you should, like, get around a few times before like you right. get married right. or have like different experiences yeah or like oh you're you're only been with that one person for like three years or whatever like why don't you like do hookup culture and then right. vice versa where it's like why do you do hookup culture like why do you want to like be around with so many people yeah yeah I, it's just weird too many yeah and it's it's like sex is Sex is kind of on the in- intersection of like so many different like religion, culture, your family upbringing, your friends, your social cir- circles, the career you're in. It's like sex is at the intersection of so many different competing parts of your life. It's like you have everybody telling you something different. Or everybody's saying the same thing. Yeah. It's weird. It is weird. But what do you... What does... What is the meaning of sex for you? As of right now, it's... Or, like... Which will probably be for, like, the rest of my life as well, too, hopefully. Mm. But it's... Like, I want to share a connection with one person Mm. in this moment, like, in time, too. Mm. And I think I, I I didn't, I don't think I know that I found, like, the one person that I want to have that connection with. Yeah. And I only want to have it with Janet. 
yeah. in this relationship and hopefully it'll be like for the rest of our lives. Right. Too. But I I think if I wasn't in a relationship that would be a, be a little different. Mm. Like I feel like if I didn't step into a relationship before college, mm -hmm. maybe not my first year, maybe not even my second year, but I think I would like hook up with like multiple people or like be around multiple people, whether it's like for a fling, I don't know, mm -hmm. flings or just being with multiple people, not like at the same time, but just throughout the, my college career. Yeah. But yeah. Mm. That's what it means to me, like, as of now. Mm. And it's always, too, like, even in high school, like, I need to have somewhat of a connection, too. Mm. Like, I need to build up, uh, like, I just feel like I'm too emotional emotional person. Mm. I get attached really easily. Right, So right. I feel like I would have to have some connection or we would have to know each other a little bit. Like, maybe go on a few dates or whatever. Or yeah. maybe, like, the first date. Like, but, like, I would want to have a date before. yeah hooking up right and then like carry it on a little bit more mm -hmm. i think that's how to approach it like with quote-unquote sleeping around in college yeah yeah that's interesting what does it mean for you i feel like for me it's pretty much the same thing i feel like sex is for me it's something to be taken seriously and I kind of treat it as a sort of spiritual act in a way because I think, I don't know, after, after having a lot of experiences where I felt unsatisfied from my sex life and also having a lot of negative emotions tied to that area, the question kind of became for me like how do i what will make sex fulfilling for me like what will what will really what will it take to satisfy me and i feel like when i think about it i just want to have sex with one person that i really really care about and for me it's like when i'm having a sexual experience with you like i want it to be intimate and I want it to be real and raw and passionate. Like, I want to feel my soul merging with your soul. Like, I want it to be like a... Uh, 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 Togetherness? Yeah. Like, I really, I really want to feel connected to you. Mm. And, I, and not in like a... I don't want to like... I don't want to... I don't want any like pa kind of power dynamics to be involved either really just we're just balancing each other out and like merging our energies yeah that's what it means to me i think that i like that i think that's like a unique take on it too because like i've mm. never i guess like i haven't really talked to too many people about <laughs> sex because going back to the earlier conversation of it being like taboo, taboo. to talk about yeah but, just from the conversations I had with like different people about the subject, mm. like I, I really like that like aspect or like take on it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I was gonna say like because I never like really thought about it as or from that take of like spirituality yeah. to coming into it. Yeah, yeah. I feel like, you know, because I feel like I had to recognize like where where i was in the process of experiencing my own sexuality and past experiences i had to kind of just accept all of that and figure out how to move forward and what i wanted moving forward and maybe if i was a different person or i hadn't had certain experiences maybe i'd be able to approach sex differently but that's not the life I'm living. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. This is re I feel like recently I've just had to kind of just own my scars and expect different things from people and from my sex life because of it mm -hmm. and find the power in that. 
and embracing what I really want for myself now mm. and not not try and project like experiences from the past into the future and being yeah. like if I did it then I can do it now yeah. right I yeah. can keep having all this sex with people but I can't do it girl yeah. I'm not built for it I can't yeah. be out here anymore I yeah. can't if it sounds like that you're getting more comfortable on your skin or like yeah. a more healthy approach to it as well too. yeah which is good because haven't had that yeah haven't had that it's nice to have that area somewhat settled it's a good look on you thanks <laughs> with thanks. would you want to be in a relationship now like long term or like more of you're more mentally prepared for like yeah yeah that's i it's a funny question because i always freshman year of college i remember being particularly lovesick mm -hmm. and i thought then that i was ready for a relationship but looking back now from where i'm at today i'm like i don't know i would be curious to see like how that relationship would have impacted you yeah because i don't know if you were ready i don't know if you were really ready and i don't know if i am now because i think now that I'm comfortable being single, I kind of want to explore being single a little longer mm -hmm. and just having experiences within that. But I'd be down for a relationship. Mm -hmm. I just know, like, I just know I'm going to require a certain kind of person. And that might, I'm fine waiting for it, mm -hmm. no matter how long it really takes. Yeah. So, I think, I don't know, I also have, like, a feeling in my, in my chest that it's not gonna happen anytime soon. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. It does give me a little anxiety, though, just because I'm like, oh my god, like, being in a relationship? Yeah. I can't. Cause like I see you and you have to like you really have to make sacrifices when you're in a relationship. Yeah. Even just looking at Trey, like mm. Brendan, like that's time, that's energy. Yeah. I mean, it can get tiring at some moments in time, but I feel like Brendan and I at least you have to put in a little bit more effort. Right. Because it's long distance, but yeah. whereas like if like it's in philly like north philly or something that's really close mm. or like if you mean in college yeah like yeah. that's only like a walk away where right. it's easier where you don't have to take too much time to yeah. travel to get there but if you do happen to be in a long, long distance, distance it takes a little bit of effort but once you see them that mm. effort goes away like, yeah getting it's there all worth it and like getting there too can be fun as well because like i always mm. I always listen to a podcast when I'm going to Lancaster mm. to see her. Yeah. And, like, I like driving, too, so it's a nice drive. Yeah. So, like, I, I just see it from, like, pos Positive. more positively. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Because it's, like, a, it's a chance for me to drive and relax. Yeah. And be in my own bubble. Right. And then I also get to see Janet, Janet. as well, too. Mm. And then. Yeah. I mean, I'm sh there's other sacrifices, that, too. It's, like, worth it, too. Right. So it's, yeah, it's, like, a worthy sacrifice. And it depends on the relation, too. Like, if you have to sacrifice a shit ton and that person's not, yeah, yeah that's not really a good person if you're fucking sacrificing, sacrificing everything. everything. Yeah. There's going to be some sacrifices here and there, but it's, it should be relatively equal. Small, equal and on the small end. Yeah. Like, you shouldn't be, depending, well, at the Oh, I guess we ran out of time. <laughs> Should we just edit there? <laughs> I kind of want yeah. to. Will we, should we finish it? Part two next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's just leave it. <laughs> I'm cracking up. Stay tuned, bitches. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey.